Hi everybody, it's Barbie from Nellie and Ruth Designs, and um, I want to get back and finish this little project, the tutorial, on binding, using a different binding for um, the pocket book ephemera holders that I've been making and showing you. So thanks for joining in. I hope when you watched part one, I have gotten some good feedback on my Instagram account um, regarding the project. So I was happy to hear that. And <clears throat> I was going to say, if you have tried it, if you'd um, joined in and did some crafting on this and it was a success for you, I'm. it really makes me happy. So well, let's move on. And um, this one here, I told you I would show you. Um, this was the book that I had originally showed you in the first video and I went ahead and I got it all glued in and on my interior pages I did a little top stitching here uh, on this one here that I'm going to show you I'm not going to do that I have something else in mind so I, I did not do any stitching um, I have not embellished these yet I thought this would be a fun you know video to do where uh, we could embellish, and again, I could show you how to, if you're interested in putting tabs on the side, um, but I, I just would like to really make this special because of the paper, and here is the, the back cover, um, so I'm, I'm really pleased the way this came out, and I'm glad that my instructions were, um, somewhat understandable, um, so, all right, so let's move on. So I picked out, because of the paper that I chose here, I really love this paper. And again, if you haven't seen the first video yet, um, all these papers come from the K Sera Sera K and Company 12 by 12 pack, and it is double-sided, and it's just amazing, wonderful, colorful, vibrant, make-you-feel-good paper. Um, so I used that for my, all my pockets. So <clears throat> I wanted to have something really funky and fun for the cover. So I found this material in my bin. I'm not sure if I planned on using this to, um, make a skirt out of at one point, but I had a little bit left over. So just remember when you're working with material, there is a good side and you have your back side. So don't don't get confused and um, you want to make sure you use the correct side for the exterior of the book. And in the last video, I did tell you um, if you wanted to make the cover with me to cut two pieces of cardstock that were eight by six and your interior piece, I think was one and five eighths um, for the five page um, book. But again, you know, I just want to make sure I don't want to be throwing numbers out there. You can always, you know, cut it down a little bit. But I think this is just shy of one and five eighths. Um, and this will fit rather nicely. And just test it out by folding your, your um, front and back covers up. And you can see that it, it fits very nicely in there. And again, I use a piece of Tyvek. I use the um, Priority Mail um, envelopes for that. And it just, these don't rip or tear and they just seem to be a little bit sturdier. So we're gonna get going and I'm gonna get this glued on here. Um, now, when you make your cover, I guess it depends on how much material you want to bring down. I like to bring down enough material. So when I put on my back cover, you know, I have, I have ample room. You're going to see the cover right here. All right. Um, so I'm just going to cut a little bit on each side here because this is a little bit I could have, and you can just move your material down as well. I don't know why I didn't do that. That way I'd have a larger strip to do something else. Um, use it in some other way. 
just don't cut yourself too short either on your your fabric if you're going to use fabric all right and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to trim your corners so when you fold your I don't like to get too close some people get really close but I guess you can kind of once you cut your first corner just kind of play with it see now to me that would be a little too short there so because I do like to have a little bit of material that I can just a touch fold and then fold down for a little cleaner corner so that's why I don't go too close to each each end and then you just kind of have to you just kind of have to play with it all right so I'll get those out of the way and normally I use and I don't know if I'm going to have good luck I use fabric tack but this has really been um bothering me lately it it just overflows on my other book I used the Eileen's fabric fusion which um it does do a really nice job so I think I'll use that just for the fact that this is a little cleaner and neater um and it's not going to overflow and goop all around so once you get your corners cut and you have your um material laid out you're just going to go and you're going to put some glue around the top here. And I hope I'm in camera view. Let's move it this way a little bit. And then you're just going to fold that down. And it does get messy. Um, it can be a little sticky. And I just keep working, working it down. And then once we get this all glued in, you really do have to let it dry. Um, And I'm just going to clip a few of these off so it doesn't um, add any funky marks or lines or when I get my paper down. All right. And then I'm going to work, I'm going to do the bottom one here, okay? That way I can kind of pull it so it's nice and taut on the other side. So I'm going to do the top and then I'm going to do the bottom. And if I'm quiet today, don't think there's anything wrong or... I just came in. I my daughter-in-law and I walked our walked our girls, walked the dogs, and it's cold here today. And I just um, it's a beautiful day. The sun is out, but we're supposed to get snow again, and I'm not liking that. Um, it's just one of those days where you know you don't have much to say. I want to concentrate on this too. Sometimes when I get um, talking, I I'm not paying attention. I, I don't I don't want to make a mistake. It's not like I'm working on tags or doing some you know working on ephemera or anything like that. Where I just want to make sure that this goes smoothly for everybody that's watching. Okay, so you have your top and bottom done. All right. 
All right, and then let's see, let's put this here. I want to make sure that this is in view. This is where you're going to work with your, you start working with those corners. All right, so I'm going to just fold these a little bit over like this, kind of like you're wrapping a package. I'll fold that up. Just hold that for a minute down there. Make sure that one's tucked. See, and that comes out rather nicely. I try to have enough material um, on the ends here, but you don't want it so thick. If you if th this is a very thin cotton. If you had a large or a heavier um, piece of material, it would add a little bit more bulk here. Um, so you may want to go a little bit closer to those corners. Now, if you were going to add more material to the inside, I wouldn't worry about it because it would fuse quite nicely um, to your corner. And I do like this Eileen's Fabric Fusion. This is old. Um, this has been in my cellar for I don't know how long. And um, then I brought it upstairs and just hadn't had an opportunity to use it. But I do like it a lot. It adheres very well. So here's your front, your front cover. Remember, these are soft covers. So... Um, And I'm thinking about, I'm going to have to tie these up in some fashion um, once I start putting the ephemera in there or whatever I'm going to store. So I think I'm going to take some, I have some really, really pretty Siri silk. And I think I'm going to use that. I'm going to tuck this in a little bit here. Tuck that over. Um, to tie, the, tie it up. And I'm not going to poke a hole. Some gals, they will poke holes, punch a hole, and then put a eyelet in. I guess it's an eyelet. Um, and then run the Siri silk through that. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't want to poke a hole. I'm just going to wrap it. I think it'll be quite pretty. Okay. All right. So here's your cover. That's all set and done. And I do like, I love this material. I and mean, I think it's going to be so pretty. Um with these pages in here. It's just gonna be really, really pretty. So there's the cover. You've got your fabric, that's all on. And now the next thing we're going to do, and this is where I am gonna use my, my fabric tack. Um, you're going, we're going to put the, the pages in this binding on here, all right? And when you do this, you're going to want to make sure that you get it lined up fairly well, where you have just a little bit at the top and you have a little bit at the bottom. And um, it's not that hard to do. You just have to pay attention and See how this is already, and I've been complaining about this since day one, since I started doing these darn videos, that I've never seen this with anybody else's fabric tack, where it just oozes out, and I'm just, I don't know, maybe when I get a new bottle, um, 
it won't do that. I've I've have to release the pressure. I don't know what the Sam Hill is going on with it. I I just don't know. I cannot figure it out, but it really makes me mad. It frustrates me. Because I have never, ever, ever seen anybody else's. See, I have to do this. And it just keeps, it just keeps oozing out. So, I don't know what, what the heck is wrong with that. I really don't. But I don't like, I really don't like using it. And your hands do get... Um, they do get glue on them. So make sure, this is the other thing, you have to make sure that everything is flat here. And you can do that by, once you get it down, you're going to bring your, your pages up here, your side flaps. And you're going to make sure it's all lined up. You don't want to squish it here. That Your center can, you're going to want to pull that out. And you're going to want to make sure your center one here is lined up good and flat. And then you're just going to adhere these by pressing down. And everything looks good. But again, you just want to, I, what I usually do is I take my, I, my God, I have this Cricut, it's the same width as this, and I just give it a good, a good rubbing. I do that with all of them. I just make sure they're pressed down really good on that spine and that's all there is to it gluing this in and there that's all see that's all glued in nicely there see how easy that is and then you have no sewing on the side. Now, if you were doing a regular junk journal, you may have the sewing on the side. Um, there is a way um, that you can put your junk journal pages in. Um, and there's a lot of um, tutorials out there showing you that. That's how, I, that's how I do my junk journals now. I don't sew through the um, material. I like a really nice, clean look. And then I guess I'm going to try this monster again to glue this down. Now, before I do that, um, I do take a little bit of this off because you don't need all of this um, extra. If you want wanted it there, you you can keep it there, but I just don't. I don't think it's ne necessary. So I just trim it right down. All right. And then the other thing I do is I trim these back. I trim these back like that. And again, I'm going to leave that up to you as to how far back you cut. Um, you want to have at least an inch and a half to two inches so it makes a good base and then I just trim that back there like that okay and now I can glue this down here I hope this isn't too awkward of a 
angle. I use my Eileen's. I just can't deal with um, that Fabri-Tac. It's just overflowing everywhere. And again, once I get that down, I put a the excess, and where's my paddle? I just give it a really good rubbing. And I always put, you know, a piece of paper or cardstock over the area I'm rubbing. Um, it, you know, saves from getting glue on, but it also saves from catching and and peeling it back up or getting your getting something caught underneath it. All right, so that's down. Alright, so now you have, have that in there like that. You have your crease. Make sure you crease it. You don't want to. You want to make sure that even though this is glued here, that you can still um, bend it, okay? It's on that crease. There you go. And I think what I will do is I'm going to put just a little tiny bit. This side just doesn't seem to be adhering as well. Take a chance on my Fabri-Tac. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right, so, all right, so that's all down. And you don't have to do all these steps at the same time. If you want to let your, you want to let, you know, your uh, binding dry, let it dry. Um, and then you can tack this down or you can do this and then come back to it. I'm just doing it all in one fell swoop just so you can see all right now we have um we have the end pieces to adhere and again like i said i'm not sewing these i'm just going to put these in because i do plan i'd like to do something else um with these And these are just shy of being six, all right? Um, only for the fact that I want my material showing on the end here. And again, I really don't care about this white, uh, the manila envelope showing on the ends. That's... It just isn't important to me. Um, it's just part of the the binding there. So, and I will use. Um, I'm going to use again the Eileen's. I used it on the last one. And when I do my um, back pages, I do come and I put it on here uh, on the sheet itself. Um, And then I will take this and put it on the cover. I don't like to go all over the page with it. I suppose you could. Um, it's just, it's just me. It's just something that I prefer not to do.
and I usually start at the side here so I make sure I have what material I want showing on the ends and this is where you have to just kind of work with it and make sure it's in the position you want and just keep pressing it down and, and working with it. hot in my room under all these lights. I usually have a window open. It's probably why I got coughing in my last video. I couldn't, my throat was dry and I'm not a good drinker um, during the day and that's really bad. And then I will let this, I'll let this dry overnight before I do anything else with it. I just like to make sure. So see the, your ends here, they do come out rather nice. Um, <clears throat> there's not a lot of bulk, you know, or in the paper adheres nicely to it. So just take your time and this I will flip this way so you can see and I'm forcing myself I'm not a stripe or diagonal person um, I'm really forcing myself to use more diagonals and stripes um, and I just thought I thought the colors in this went really well with the pages and um, the front cover. So I think what I'll do is um, maybe make some pockets. We could make some pockets in the back here that might be kind of nice. I feel like one side I work right-handed, the other side I have to work left-handed. I'm gonna do it this way. Make sure I'm in view here. And this Eileen's is nice because it does give you time to play with your, your paper. Um, it doesn't glue down lickety split. You can move your paper around a little bit. Okay. Get this down and then I'll put my paper over it. I will put my paper over. I'm going to actually get it's a little too thick. I'll take one of these. And I'm going to go back to this one. This worked better. But just make sure you get those corners really, really well. You don't want those peeling up. My finger does get hot when I do this because I do rub, I do rub quite hard. I just want that to stick down and stay down. So, all right. Whew. 
that's a workout in itself. Okay, so I want to do something with this front cover. So there's the book all bound together and um, glued. And I'm going to let this rest overnight. And let me just show you the, um, I think this will be really pretty. Um, let me get my cap back on my Eileen's and then that monster. Let me get my Siri soap. And I want to show you. Um, I have two different colors. And I think this one here may be the color that I want to use. But isn't this pretty? I'm in the process of, um, I bought this for some more junk journals. And I'll be wrapping this, my blue and white journal, um, with this here. And I think I'm going to sell that journal. I think I'm leaning towards it. Um, so when I get that done, I will do a final... Um, viewing and I'll let you know when I'm I post it in my Etsy shop but I think this would be really pretty to wrap this in with a nice big bow on the side so I can get some of that ready um, but I do want to embellish the front of this I just have to I want a really nice theme I'm kind of thinking um, that I think I will use see the glue that's the only thing with the Eileen's um, and probably the fabric fabric tack does it too, but this does you do get quite messy. Um, but it's the only th it's not sticky. If this gets on your fingers, you're you're sticky sticky. Where the Eileen's um, is just on there, but just go do a good load of dishes and it will just literally peel off. Um, that's what happened to me yesterday. It just came right off in the warm dishwater, and I just sat there and peeled it. Um, but I'm thinking I have so many beautiful fairy postcards. Um, I'm thinking about using that theme, possibly, for the front cover. Um, you know, and I think this, you know, maybe <clears throat> what I will do is seeing that, because I do not have a ephemera holder yet I have all these amazing postcards uh, that I bought from Maria she's on Instagram and this would be a beautiful um, folder to house all of my postcards in so I'm thinking along the lines of you know the front cover could be a really nice fairy scene and then wrapping it with that Siri silk, it would be really, really pretty. So, yeah. So that's all I've got for you today, folks. Um, I think that's enough. You can get your head wrapped around that. The other thing that you can do as well, I mean, like on this one here, I went and I did this little pattern. And I sewed it all on and I added the doilies. You know, you can... You can be as creative as you want with your covers. You can do a patchwork cover, um, whatever you want to do. Just, you know, kind of plan out ahead of time. And um, you could still add that. If you wanted to add a little bit more bulk, you could add um, another piece of um, cardstock, you know, inside. It could be just plain. So you could have two pieces of cardstock. You could use heavier cardboard. You know, do, do whatever suits your needs or what you would like to do. Um, yeah, so that's it uh, today. Like I said, I just wanted to show you how to put the book together. Um, you know, what, what glue I used, um, the size papers that we used here. And that's it. Pretty simple easy, easy peasy in my world. I hope it's easy peasy in your world as well. And until my next video, we will continue with this little project. We'll do some embellishing and uh, put some pockets on the inside and we'll just play around and have a little bit more fun with it. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining in and have a great week. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.